Hey, y'all crazy pop here. Today, we're going to make us some breakfast burritos, some buffalo breakfast burritos. Now, I've never made these. Uh, I got an idea in my head how I want it to come together, and I think all these flavors together are going to be amazing. At least I hope so. You know, I've had fails in the past. Everybody does. You put something together, you're like, this is going to be great. You take a bite, and you're like, <laughs> that wasn't a good idea. But I do believe that these are going to be a little on the other side. I think these are going to be the good idea. Like, man, these are amazing. So we're going to give them a try today, some buffalo breakfast burritos. Now, if you're looking for any other recipes that we may have done or any other channels that we may be go, got going on, like, you know, we got a, we got a TikTok, we got a Hang With The Crazy Crew channel where we go do all our adventures and all kind of stuff. We got all kind of things, a Pinterest and Instagram, a Facebook, a lot of stuff. But I, you know something? I made it easy for you to find it. Go on down there to the description, look there, you'll find a link tree, click on that, and you can click on whatever may pique your interest. Be sure to check all that out. I would love for you to check all that out. I really would appreciate it. So, we got to fire this griddle up. We got to show you some groceries, and we got to get to cooking. Now, there ain't nothing sadder than a cold griddle. Let's fix that problem. Let's get this thing fired up. Y'all, I'm going all four burners today, but I am going down to low. Okay? Going to go down to low on these. And if we adjust, hey, I'll let you know. Let's talk about some ingredients. Well, we got some chicken back here. What I did is I cut up about four boneless, skinless chicken thighs, cut them up right there. I have some pretty big tortilla shells here, the extra large ones. Uh, let's go back here. We got some bacon that I've already cut up. We're going to fry it up. We got some sausage back here. Got some diced tomatoes, some diced up onions. We got some cilantro I've cut up. We got some Kobe Jack cheese we're going to throw in there. We got some eggs. Now, seasoning. I do have the buffalo blue seasoning we're going to season that chicken with, and that's where these get in the buffalo. And I have some hatch chili and cheddar that we're going to put in them eggs. I think that's going to be really good with that buffalo. I think the combination of the two is going to be great. Starting to see some white smoke. That only means one thing. It's time to get some groceries up on this griddle. So let's start by throwing down some oil, and we'll throw our chicken in there. Throw down some that buffalo blue. And give it a stir. Man, that buffalo blue smells good on this griddle. Spread these out. Let that cook. Now, as far as how much seasoning to use, if you watch my channel before, you know I'm just gonna add some, take a little taste, try it out. If I need to add more, I will. I don't want to over season it. You know, some people don't like too much salt, don't like too much seasoning, whatever. So don't try to over season it at first. Just add a little bit, try it out. If you need to add more, you can. So now that the chicken's going, let's put the sausage on. Cause it won't take none of this very long to cook, really. Just plop it on down there. One big old plop. Well, maybe. Plop, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Trying to keep my hands from getting so messy, but that's all right. Sometimes you gotta get messy when you cook. Get all your sausage on there. You don't need paper towels when you cook. Are you really cooking? So let's chop that sausage up. Sausage going, chicken's going. Let's put the bacon on. The bacon, like I said, I cut it up. Kind of smaller pieces though. They cook a part as they cook. We're just gonna throw it out here like this. Just get them to go in. You see, they're already starting to come apart. Throw our sausage up back here. Chop it up as we stir. Man, this griddle looks good, but it smells even better. Man, that chicken with that buffalo season smelling so good. Mixed in with this breakfast sausage back here, and oh, cannot forget the bacon. Let's give our chicken a stir, see how it's looking. Oh yeah, looking really good, look at that. Get some color to it. So I'm saying, it won't take it long at all to cook. 
I really think it's going to need more seasoning, but we'll find out. So let's just spread it back out and let it cool. Give our bacon a stir, y'all. I really think these might turn out pretty good. Let's give everything a good stir. I believe that sauce is done, y'all. I'm gonna slide that sausage on over here. Like so. Keep it over here in the corner just to chill out for a little while. Bring this bacon up here, it's getting close to being done. Now since I moved that sausage over, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this far burner completely off and just let things stay warm over there. Stir this chicken up, y'all. Oh man, I, that color is amazing on this chicken. It looks so good. Won't be long, it's gonna be time to build these things. Stir up this bacon. back there like that. Now the onions, I am gonna put them on the griddle in this bacon fat, but I don't wanna cook them all the way down. I'm gonna cook them just enough to bring that sweetness out. Let's throw them right there. Just kinda mix them in that bacon fat, bacon grease, bacon whatever, it's gonna be good. Bacon out back here, looking pretty good. I do believe the bacon's ready. So let's get it on over there with that sausage to hang out for a while. Move these onions out the way. Put y'all over here. Y'all hang out over there for a little while. Get these onions going. Soften them up, sweeten them up. Oh man. If you ever cook bacon on the griddle, always try to cook your other stuff in that bacon grease. It ain't gonna hurt it, I promise you. Let's check on this chicken. I think it's about done. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at the color on that, would you? I gotta show you this up close before I even try a piece of it. What y'all think about that chicken? Now I get to try it. I think I'm gonna try this little piece right here. It's good. It really is. But it needs more seasoning. So, break out the more seasoning. You see how windy it is out here, y'all? Now, chicken's kind of dried out a little bit. So, we'll add some oil to it. Not a big deal. Add a little bit of oil. Some Earl. Here we go. Give it a good mix. We're gonna try it again. Get back here, you. See what we got now. Oh, that's a lot better. That's so good. Oh, mmm, that's good. These onions are done, y'all. They're done too. And slide them to the back. Slide them to the back. All right, let's go ahead and get our chicken moved over now. All right, we gotta cook some eggs. So let's get this grill cleaned up just a little bit. Down the hatch you go. Y'all, I forgot the butter, but that's okay. 
I'm gonna use just a little bit of oil on these eggs. When I say a little bit, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of slowly pour these eggs on here. Now remember, this griddle is on low. I might need to cut a burner off, I think I will. I think I'm gonna cut this other burner off here. I don't want to cook too fast. Oh yeah, there we go. Get the rest of it on there. Uh oh, we got a yolk that wasn't busted. So let's get this all stirred together. Looking pretty good, ain't it, y'all? Let's add some of this hatch chili and cheddar to it. Ooh, that wind that is knocking it everywhere. Oh, that stuff smells so good. Oh boy. That's gonna be so good mixing with these eggs. If it tastes anything like it smells, wow. So I'm just gonna keep on just folding my eggs, not really chopping them up a whole lot. Just making nice, pretty, fluffy eggs. Look at there. Look at them beautiful eggs. All right, y'all. Chicken's done, eggs are done, onions are done, sauce is done, bacon done. Time to build some burritos. Let's slide our eggs. Let's slide them over here. What you think about that? We'll just put them right there for right now, I guess. Kind of re oil my griddle here. Gonna warm these tortillas up. So let's put down a few tortillas, warm them up, and we're gonna build us some burritos. I think I just throw, I don't know, we'll put four of them down. How's that sound? Woo, it's windy out here. Hey, we'll put four of them down. Like that. Now I am gonna turn this other burner back on and back down to low just to warm these tortilla shells up. Let's give these burritos, or, well, they're not burritos yet, are they? Let's give these tortillas a flip. All we're trying to do is just kind of warm them up, make them pliable. Not really looking to toast them up. There we go. Y'all just look at this griddle right here, would you? Man, that chicken with that buffalo. These tortillas, egg, sausage, onions, and the bacon. Yeah, buddy. These tortillas are ready, so let's get them over the side, put a cutting board down, and build us some burritos. Put y'all right there. Now I'm gonna cut this other burner off. So now basically all I have going is these two far burners. Well, far burner, next to far burner, we'll call it. I don't know. It's not the middle, because there's four, you can't have a middle. These two burners on this side are on low. Break out the handy dandy cutting board. Now, how are we gonna build this thing? I think, I think, I think, I think. I'm gonna go with some chicken, of course. I'm gonna go with a little bit of chicken. Some chicken. I think I'm gonna go with some egg on this one. Well, egg on all of them, like so. I think I'm gonna throw a little bit of onion on here. Of course, bacon. Take a little bacon, throw on there. And just a little bit of this breakfast sausage. Kind of give it a little more kick. How's that? This is gonna be good. Let's wrap it up, y'all. Can't wrap it up yet. Forgot cheese. So there it goes. I had in my mind how I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna show you how I build the next one. So don't pay attention to this one. But this is still gonna be good. Let's throw some cheese on here like that. We'll put two pieces on it, being a special. It's my special burrito. 
And even the cheese don't want to work right. Look at that. Let's wrap it up. Try to anyhow. This is a big one. She's a big one. Oh, look at that. Now, what you want to do is take it and put it back here, fold it side down. Now, let's build one the right way. What I meant to do, it's kind of like what happened was, is I meant to put the cheese down first, like this. Then build the burrito. So let's build this one right. Chicken. Egg. Come on, get over here. Egg. Bacon. Onion. Sausage. Like that. Let's wrap this one up now. Oh yeah, that's a lot of butter there. Wrap you up. There we go. Build these next two, we're gonna be able to try them out. Let's wrap things up as they stay. Now, some of these burritos have been on. You know, I just put one on. The other ones have been going. So let's flip them over and see if they're ready to be sealed on the other side. Oh yeah, look at that. Not, not quite, not quite. What about you? Nope, not quite. That one there is a little warmer zone, so it got it. It got a little better, better sear on it, but that's okay. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Y'all, my mind ain't here. I forgot to put tomato in some of these, but that's okay. I don't like tomato in them, that's fine. So you want tomato in yours, by all means, here's some tomato added in there. Let me snap a couple pictures for a thumbnail and we're gonna try these things out. Let's cut one of these open and see what we got in here, y'all. Look at that. Right there, would you? That's gonna be some more good. I about forgot something else. The cilantro. Let's kind of sprinkle that on there just a little bit. Kind of add just a little bit of color to it, make it nice and pretty. Add just a little flavor to it, if you will. There we go. Get the rest of it on there. Now, doesn't that look butter? That cilantro, I mean, look down in that thing. That cheese, all that meat, and that egg. Oh boy, these things are gonna be so good. At least I hope they will. Wait, let's try them out, y'all. All right, y'all, I think I got them right, except for the tomatoes. If you want tomatoes in yours, by all means, add them in. But guess what? Got a friend showing up again. You've seen him before, you'll see him again, you see him now. The Retro Ben, his link to his channel, now he fixes all kinds of stuff. He's got to get better at putting some more videos out, but he does a lot of great stuff. So go over there and check him out. The Retro Ben fixes all kinds of electronics, and who knows what he can fix. He can fix everything. I got a Ben, put it this way. You know, everybody else got a certain thing, I got a Ben. But right now, I got to try this out. So let's try it out. Mm. Got that crunch. Mm hmm. It's good, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm a little bit of Taco Bell sauce on mine for another bite. Good. Just to see. Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh. That buffalo blue. Seasoning on that chicken is really coming through with that hatch chili, excuse me, and cheddar coming through on them eggs with that sausage, that breakfast sausage, and that bacon and cheese all wrapped up in a nice toasty, crunchy shell. Y'all need to try these out. Super simple, great. I mean, look, it's like a breakfast hot pocket. I'm gonna try a little sauce. You're gonna try some sauce. So, try these out. Let me know what you think. I would love to know what you'd add in different, what you'd do different, you know, whatever. Oh, I forgot the onions in here, too. You can taste the onions just a little bit. Not They're not overpowering. They're not crunchy, but you can taste the sweetness of them. So, also, one more thing before you go, if you're sticking around, if you're still around, 
we have a join button down there. We'd love for you to join our channel. So just another great way you can kind of help us out and support us in the things we're doing here. We're growing. And if you don't, that's fine. Hey, I still love you. Ain't no, ain't no hard feelings. You support me enough by just watching this video. I really do appreciate it. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go check out the Retro Ben. He's about done. I got to feed him some more, I guess. These things are good. Got Bryson standing behind the camera just waiting to eat. You want to eat one? No? Okay. We'll see you next time.